Hey guys, back with another abandoned video. Today, I'm actually at a shopping, a little strip mall here. Um, it's called East Lynn Plaza. East Land Plaza. It's in Fort Wayne. We're actually right across the street from the Kmart and uh, House of Chen restaurant that I just recently did. So, I just, uh, I think... There's like a restaurant supply store that's right there. I, there's a lot of stuff in there that might, I think they might still be open. I don't think they are though. I don't know. I don't want to say that. But everything else seems to be closed. And the main reason I wanted to check this out is because there's actually a uh, big antique store that's right here that was actually really cool to go to in the past. Um, this is all closed. Um, but yeah, this, this whole place is empty now. I remember, yeah, there was an upstairs to the antique store. And this place was huge. It was, uh, it goes all the way down there. But yeah, so, I'm actually going to see how big this place is. I'm going to go all the way across, or to the back, to see what it's like back there. I've been here several times when it was open. Um, I'm surprised it closed. This place has been open for decades. This looks like it was separated and originally supposed to be several different businesses. Because there's all these doors, but the antique mall actually took up the entire area and I just gotta say it is freezing out here today um, it's actually snowing I don't know if you can see it but today is February uh, something I don't know there's a nice disgusting dusty tree oh man it's bad back here sounds like there is still some power there's a nice sofa, if you want that. Um, a 1980s projection TV. Yeah, there's some gas still running over there. And a cart from, oh wow, Rogers. If you grew up in Fort Wayne, you know what this is. Rogers was like an old, was a grocery store years and years ago. I'm not gonna go down there. There's nothing really back here, um, except for some vodka. <laughs> but Rogers, man, I forgot about them. Uh, Rogers was uh, like, it was a grocery chain that was here in town um, that was taken over pretty much by Kroger's, Scott's, which actually kind of, I think Scott's and Kroger's became the same company and then they all became Kroger, so. Yeah, Rogers. Forgot all about them. I don't know if they were a national brand. I don't think so. I think it was more maybe regional or just local. But this is just a really huge place. I had no idea it was this big, actually. I mean, like I said, I'd been in it a few times when it was an antique store. This looks like this was actually a ministry place. Like a, I don't know if it was a church. Um, but then the antique store filled up most of the building. Man, it is freezing today. I've been at this whole street, this whole strip of just all these empty places on this whole street has been really good for videos because I actually have been able to do several videos with just on this one street. Um, it's unfortunate, but... Yeah, there's so much, so many vacant buildings on this one strip of area, this whole strip here. It's, it's really sad. I don't know what is going to be done to revitalize this area. I don't know if anything can be done. It's kind of got just a bad reputation. Looks like they left some uh, furniture antiques in there too. So like I mentioned before, there there is a Home Depot that's down there. I want to do that, but every time I go there, 
there's a cop sitting in the uh, back. I think that they've realized people like to go back there and dump trash. Because if you go back there behind that Home Depot, it's just, there's trash. There's like furniture. There's hay bales. <laughs> I don't even know where those would have came from. But here's my new car. I love this thing. I just picked this up last week. Oh, as I was saying, um, there's trash back there to the point where there's like furniture, like whole living room sets. I don't know how that would have happened, but I think the cops know people go back there and, uh, yeah, dump all their crap. So every time I go there, there's cops. I can't really get anything recorded over there. So one day I will make it over there. Um, I don't know. Someday. Maybe not. Uh, it's It would be a really interesting video, but because it's a huge place, obviously it's a Home Depot, but anyway, I'm going to cut this. Thank you. I hope everybody has a great day, great week, and thanks for watching.